Have you ever had a full stack of iridium ore to turn into iridium bars and no coal? Or wanted to craft a couple hundred bee houses that needed eight coal each? Well, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you the most effective method of farming quite a lot of coal. On my coal run, I managed to get enough coal to craft a full stack of iridium ore. If you are new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I try to release a new video every day. This method is very simple. All you need to do is go to Clint the Blacksmith, buy all the coal you ever need at 250 gold each. <laughs> Just kidding, buying coal at Clint is extremely expensive and I would not recommend it. If you buy 8 coal for a single bee house, that will cost you a massive 2000 gold per bee house and that is just not feasible. Thankfully, the game has a good coal farming mechanism that I will go through right now. The first step is completing the special order request called Prismatic Jelly. This quest will reward you with an item called Monster Musk. Monster Musk is a craftable buff that will cause more enemies to appear in the mines or in the skull cavern for 8 minutes. To complete this quest, you will need to search the regular mines for a prismatic slime. You'll know when you find a prismatic slime because their colors change and they look really cool. The easiest way to find one of them is go to floor 105 and clear the floor and then leave and re-enter until you find one. It shouldn't take too long to find one. Once you have found the slime, defeat it and bring the prismatic jelly to the wizard for your reward. Crafting monster musk is pretty easy. You will only need 30 slime and 30 bat wings. The next step to farming coal is obtaining a specific ring, the burglar ring. The burglar ring can be obtained by completing an adventurer's guild quest. You'll have to defeat 500 dust sprites. 500 sounds like a lot, but there are usually so many of them, you should be able to finish this without that much difficulty. Plus, you can use monster musk to bring out more dust sprites, making it even easier to complete this quest. Now, why would we want this burglar ring? Well, the burglar ring is actually very important for any cavern adventures. The burglar ring will allow each enemy you defeat to potentially drop items twice. For example, let's say a dice is rolled and if it rolls between 1 and 3, then you will get some loot. The burglar ring will roll the dice twice, meaning there's a higher chance for the items to drop and there's a chance that you will get the double items. That is pretty good and it will also help you find more prismatic shards. This step is optional, but I like to combine my burglar ring with a lucky ring. If you don't have a lucky ring, you can combine it with any of the rings you find valuable, like the slime charmer or even an iridium band. Now you have everything you need to farm tons of coal. All you need to do is enter the mines on floors that have dust sprites. I usually enter floor 65, defeat all the dust sprites I find and go down a few floors. I usually leave the mines around floor 68 or 69 and then re-enter floor 65. Make sure to use monster musk, they will allow quite a few extra enemies to appear on the floors and that just makes farming coal from dust sprites much much easier. The dust sprites are pretty easy to defeat. They barely do any damage and with a galaxy sword they are usually taken out quite easily like in two hits. If you have a buffed up infinity blade you can probably defeat them even faster. Now that you have tons of coal you can create all the iridium bars you want and make as many bee houses as your heart desires. So this method is very effective at farming tons of coal. In this run, I got about 160 coal. If you purchased 160 coal at Clint, it would cost you about 40,000 gold. That is insane! So by farming coal instead of buying it, you can save 40,000 gold per day. However, I know that when I get lazy and when I really need that coal, I will still probably buy coal at Clint even if it costs me an insane amount of gold. Thank you so much for watching this short coal farming guide. I hope that it was helpful. If you do give it a try, let me know how much coal you're able to farm in a single day. I think you can get quite a lot, even more than I did. If you like this video, consider hitting that like button and as always, I will see you in the next video.